Hello. It was forecast to rain all week and it's a beautiful day today so um, I'm going to head into town. There's a few things that I need to do and coffee is the first thing on that list. I'm going to go... I need to go and pick us up some lunch because we haven't got any lunch in um, but also I need to go and find some more teething toys for my baby. He's been teething now for ages, um, he's really like grinding. Uh, he likes to chew on knuckles at the moment, which, yeah, babies chew on things, but we don't want him to damage his gums because of the, the rate that he's trying to chomp on things. He's got a few teething toys, but we want to just, no, he's got two teething toys that are like designed for teething, but we want to just add a couple extra ones into the mix for some variety for him. Some light sensory toys that are not too plasticky and sharp that he's gonna potentially damage his gums on. So I need to go into town and try and find something like that. And then I'm gonna trawl through a couple of charity shops because what I'm looking for are some more old frames like this little one that I found in a charity shop. I'd love to find gold ones because the gold goes really lovely against the new dark green um, on my walls. But um, if we can't find gold, I could always spray them, I guess, but we'll just see what we can find today. I did go in a couple of charity shops last week, no photo frames in sight, so I don't know. I think, I think they're becoming harder to get hold of because they are sort of they are sought after, aren't they? But yeah, I put this little fox um, greeting card in there because I just thought it was so cute. But I have got a couple of um, big prints that I'd like to frame, like A4 sort of big. Most of my prints are like Diddy ones and they're above my desk, like where I'm looking ahead of me right now. But I do have some bigger A4 ones that I'd really like to get framed and put on the green wall. have a little bit of a charity shop haul. Got this cute bottle, um, just a decorative, that was 95 pence. I also got my boys and dinosaur toys uh, from the little kiddie basket. These need a damn good clean, but I thought um, they were really sweet. He might not even be a dinosaur kind of boy, but um, if not, my niece loves dinosaurs, so I'll pass them on to her. But uh, yeah, we'll see. When he's a little bit older, just thought I'd get him a couple of dinosaurs. I couldn't leave this little chap. He's kind of a bit strange looking, but I also thought he was really cute at the same time. He's on this little wooden like pedestal and it says on it Fox Cub by Leonardo, whatever that means. I don't know if that can peel off. And I thought that would be, it It needs a real good clean. It is full of dust, but um, I'll give that a bit of a clean and then that can go in my studio as well. Frame wise, I got this one. It needs a really good clean, um, but it's it's a mirror. I nearly said window then. Window to what, Alice? <laughs> Who knows? But um, I want to see if, I should be able to dismantle it, but I didn't think about this until I got it home and it's not actually a glass cover so we'll see um but yeah i just thought it was an interesting garish gold frame to put some artwork in and then i got this like box frame which is pale blue at the moment but for 95 pence i thought i will take that and i'll paint it i don't know what color to paint it yet i might do like a rose gold maybe or just a nice gray or something but at the minute it's pale blue and just will not go in here but we can um do some diy with these and see see where we get to right i have fabric supplies oh that's dark i don't remember ordering that yes i do yes i do right why did i buy red right okay just ignore me just ignore everything i'm saying so I need to go and get my big plastic uh, acrylic see-through um, fabric ruler back because I lent it to my sister during the school holidays to use for her sewing um, projects because I'm not using it at the moment. So I need to go and grab that back um, so that I can actually start making some pouches. But I thought I would just show you what I've gone with for the matching up of lining and zips with the fabrics so for the bats zoom you in just a smidge 
for the bats I've gone with something a bit different this is a lovely dark grey um, I wanted it to bring out like the grey foliage and stuff and then as well I've gone with a nice grey zip so that it matches this I thought about going with a deep purple but I wanted something that stood out from the purple so usually I go for like a complementary colour on the inside and this time I just thought grey would be a nice one because these are going to be coming out with uh, plenty of time um, for Halloween which I'm really excited about. I can't believe I'm even uttering the word Halloween. I mean Halloween's a word that's muttered a lot in this house. <laughs> but I can't believe that when I open my shop again it's going to literally be like a month or two before Halloween so um, for the shrooms I went with red so here's the shroom fabric let's just open it up yes yeah. so I went with a lovely deep rich red for this one just to bring out the colours of the shrooms and then I went with red zips as well I do think I've got some red zips left from my Christmas fabric so um, hopefully now that I've got multiple sort of designs that require the same colour zip it means that if I run out of something it means that I've usually like got some supplies in and then I got this colour fabric just because I couldn't resist it and I can't remember what it was called but I think it was something like sweet pea or something um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet but I'm always sort of collecting plain fabrics together to um, match up with my designs and no doubt there'll be another fabric coming out with these two but for now these are the two that I've decided to go with. I'm trying not to um, have my fingers in too many pies at the moment because that is the story of my life. So over the weekend I was focusing on getting my zine ready to send to the printers and now that I can send it to the printers I can focus on just some other bits but before I do that I need to obviously send my zine to the printers so it's kind of late I mean it's not late it's half eight <laughs> but it's late for me to be working but this is when I get stuff done at the moment and it gives me a solid amount of time to get some stuff done I'm still trying to figure things out like how things are gonna look for me um, and like finding the balance and stuff and I find that just doing an hour or two in the evening just makes me feel like I'm still doing something. All I'm doing right now is um, prep. I'm just ordering stickers for my patrons but I'm also ordering some other ones at the same time. Don't know what the lead time on these is like. Um, usually I go for sticker app but they can be very expensive especially when you're ordering more designs because you can't i don't think you can anyway with sticker app i don't think you can order multiple designs within the quantity and that's what i'm wanting to do right now is so i'm just going to try out a new supplier and see what happens so i also ordered the zines earlier they have been completely sent off now so they should arrive by the end of the week and then I can hopefully unbox those with you. So I am now in the studio again, it is about it's half past seven um, at night time. What I'm trying to do is try and figure out a balance with returning to work um, and what that looks like for me now after I've had my son. So I'm trying to do like a couple of hours in the evenings and then maybe an hour during the day depending on how nap time and stuff like that goes. I'm very tired but we're trying to like just figure things out a little bit. Okay so I have drank coffee I wanted to show you this print that I got for my studio from Oh Dear. I'll just, it's a risograph print and it's got like a gold. <laughs> I'm okay. <sighs> I just thought that was really relevant for right now. I'm just going to find a, a nice frame to pop it in. As of right now, my studio isn't really finished. Um, but I'm doing bits and bobs here and there. And I've also got this to show you. So I've been working on my mixed media panels. And uh, this is the first one that's not finished. It's a little fox. I've got a fox problem I have, but I'm happy with that. And then I've started this one, I've done a little bit more to this one, but there's nothing actually on it yet other than just some like paint. I'll be bringing some mixed media panels to my shop when it opens up. I've also got my ruler back, so that means that I can now start cutting some fabric for the pouches. And I think what I'm going to do now is sit and fold all of these greeting cards because I still haven't done these from last week's vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and sort through all of these.
my manufacturer is actually reducing plastic which is really good to see um, so they have come wrapped just with like paper binding oh but look they've come out really nicely I really would love to flick through these with you but I know so many of you love the surprise element um, but this is what they look like on the back there's just a little thank you on the back to my patrons because they're also a big part in making these zines. I uh, will show you the first two pages. Um, so this is like the inside cover and then this is like a little welcome page with the koi carp illustrations on that we did together in a video. So I'm so happy with them. I can't wait to release them. As always I've got uh, 50 copies so I need to just count them, make sure that they're all here, make sure that they are all uh, up to scratch as well so I don't want any like um, you know bad cropping and stuff like that or any bent corners and just nastiness about them because I want you to receive them and they be a wonderful quality for you all so they are now going to be counted, checked and then stashed away ready for my shop relaunch. I also forgot to say that something else I do with these scenes is I number them and sign them. Um, I'm not sure where to do them this time. I might just pop a little thing on the back here because normally I do them on the inside but the layout is a little bit different to what I normally do. Oh, I love these so much I can't wait for you to see them. Yeah I'll have to figure that out but for now I'm just going to count them and make sure they're all here. How are you all doing? So I have got five left over, um, which is always, I always order a few extra just for like to cover damages and stuff like that if there are any that aren't up to scratch in this pile. And then if I do have any left over, once they're sold out, I just distribute these amongst like family and friends. I also keep one for myself to add to my collection. So now you'll be able to see how exciting it is. I just love being able to uh, add another one in there. So yeah, they're all the same, they always have the other same, as in they always have like the same amount of pages, they're always the same size, so eventually I'm envisioning like a bit of a collection, so they'll all be stored nicely together as well if that's something that you would like. I went to go visit family today for a birthday, so um, the day's just kind of gone to be honest, um, but what I did start doing yesterday was washi tape designs which I'm really excited about, um, it's going to be like a deep dark forest theme which ties in really nicely with everything that's been changing in here recently. So there's going to be a Kickstarter in the next couple of months. Um, because my shop has obviously been closed, a Kickstarter would be the best way for me right now to fund a whole new collection of washi tapes. I have done a washi tape Kickstarter before, and then I ordered... I think I ordered more washi tapes last year but I haven't done a, an order this year and because I'd like to get some new designs in and having my shop open and on sale meant that some older designs filtered out it means that I now have a bit more space to start thinking about new washi tape designs so uh, I'm in the process of putting together a washi tape kickstarter it just means kind of familiarising myself with kickstarter as a platform um, but it's not taken me long to be honest, I just logged in yesterday for the first time in a couple of years really and uh, just familiarised myself with like how it all works. I need to email my manufacturer to get updated manufacturing costs and fees. Um, this time I'm very happy to say that I'm going to be looking into getting like little boxes for my washi tapes because in the past I've always done just the shrink wrapped plastic things for my washi tapes but it's plastic, it's wasteful. Um, it is cheaper, I'm going to be honest, it's cheaper to get the plastic, but I always said next time that I got washi tapes made that I would get boxes instead, so that is something that I'm aiming for. I can hear the boy is awake now, so I'm just going to pop these scenes somewhere safe. I'm going to take this packaging down to be recycled, um, 
and then I'll see where we're at. Just before I go for the evening, um, I wanted to show you a little parcel that came today. So I know a few of you may already watch Holly Exley, um, but Holly is actually um, going on to van life, which is so exciting. I can't wait to watch Holly and Craig's journey as they go off to live van life together. It's incredibly exciting. And also to see it from Holly as a freelance illustrator perspective, I am buzzing for it. Um, but Holly's actually been selling off a lot of her art supplies and just studio trinkets. And this was in um, her offerings. And I thought I'd treat myself to them. So she was selling off a few art supplies and things. But this is a book on rabbits and I just thought it'd be really really cool to have so Holly has um, used some postcards which is I, I quite like that that somebody's already been in here and like had some postcards out of this book um, but I also thought that they'd be really interesting to use as warm-up sketch reference images because there's lots and lots of different rabbits in here doing different poses different angles different um, breeds of rabbits so I just thought it'd be a really interesting book to have look at this some of these little chin rolls just thought it'd be a really interesting little book to have for um just some illustrations really I also love the fact that on the back it says that you can get beautiful pigs beautiful chickens beautiful sheep beautiful ducks or beautiful cows oh that's dangerous and um yeah I can't wait to start using these and Holly also popped in a couple of stickers which is adorable this one is a little a little camera which is very fitting for this channel i might actually pop that on like my youtube planner or something and a little a little nest full of little eggs how cute is that hello so i don't know where i'm at in the vlog i don't know where i left off we're currently going through a bit of a heat wave and i don't know if that's the reason that my son is really unsettled i've not had much sleep this week at all thank goodness everyone just keeps saying you don't look tired and it's kind of like well i am it's just a bit of makeup darling so because of that i also haven't vlogged and i don't know where we're at in the vlog as always these studio vlogs are just a bit of a mishmash of everything um i've just been out for a coffee with one of my friends this morning it is sweltering outside and luckily me and the bear managed to get back indoors have some lunch together where it's nice and cool um he's having a nap next door in the next bedroom so I thought I'd try and get some work done. I have to say, I'm having a lot of fun um, with all of like the new ideas that I'm having and all of these new products um, that I'm planning out. It just feels like, it feels like I am starting all over again, which, not all over again, but in terms of products and just filtering out all of my old stuff and bringing in brand new stuff. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time, but I never really knew how to do it because a lot of my old stock just doesn't represent me in my work anymore at all. And it looks like two completely different shops. So I'm having a lot of fun and um, just starting fresh. It feels like we're kind of, in a way, starting from scratch. I'm still waiting on the, if you watch the studio makeover video, I am still waiting on um, a solution for this corner for some shelving bits and pieces, but it's not a problem to be honest it still feels really light and airy in here and it's a really lovely peaceful calming place to work at the moment also designing washi tape so i will show you those soon when i have a couple more designs done but i think i'm on design number four at the minute and i'm aiming to have about 10 ready to do a kickstarter and um, when i come back to work so yeah for now i think what i'm going to do is open up my art journal and start a new spread um, just because I've had a really lovely um, bunch of feedback around the little postcards that I showed in my last vlog. So if you liked them last time, um, it's just given me a lot of um, kind of direction. I was scared that you wouldn't like them because they are very different to what I normally produce. Um, mixed media is something that I love to do kind of in the background and I've always been like, oh, nobody cares about this. But after showing you the postcards and you all loving them, it's given me some drive forwards to make some more and I also want to do some more of these like little tile type things um one of my lovely friends suggested that I look into getting coasters made um of these obviously like these are original pieces of art and unless like they're sealed properly and stuff I don't know how appropriate it would be to put like hot drinks on them all the time I don't know if it would warp the wood and eventually destroy the painting on them I'm not sure but 
there's no reason why I couldn't like scan them in and then transfer them via sublimation onto a coaster so I'm going to look into that obviously I can't do it myself because I don't have the appropriate press and we're still a bit iffy about the whole sublimation printer um but yeah that was a really good idea so thank you to my lovely friend for suggesting that but I didn't show you because I was doing this page in my sketchbook and I had that thing where I was like I should maybe really be vlogging this and then I was like you don't have to vlog everything else I think that's the tricky thing like about balance with studio vlogs is like knowing that you don't have to film every single thing and sometimes you just need to have that time with you and the art supplies and nothing else and not have to think about changing the angle or keeping it on your memory card and your battery life that kind of thing but I did this one the other day so um, I'm gonna get this one made into a postcard as well I think before I do anything else I need an ice cream oh thank goodness for these dairy free ice creams Cornetto I'm just saying if you ever want to sponsor you girl I'm right here so I can really do with going through all of my ephemera I started to and I put all of the little bits and pieces into this box but it's starting to overflow so I thought I'd put them in this little basket because I watched by Bun um, do a video on ephemera organisation and storage and, uh, and Roxanne actually has a three bin system what is this? and I think what she actually did if I remember rightly she put all the little bits and pieces into a little container very similar to this one so I thought I would just have a little bit of sort through and pop things in here and then try and find some little bits for this page that I'm doing I'll pop um, a little affiliate link down below as to where I got these from um, because they're really useful one of my favourite ways to make textures in journaling is to use some scrap bubble wrap and paint on it and use it as a stamp so this is just some that I've had from like an online order and I always save it for like packaging purposes but I'm gonna stamp onto the page I'm actually gonna try and make this a bit of a Taylor Swift lyrics page so they're gonna be in the background and then I'll do a painting of something over the top I'm gonna use a fan brush because I never really use them and I just want like a light dusting over the top I don't want anything too heavy so I'm just gonna see what this looks like getting all over the desk I should have put my mat down really oh well the occasion calls for just mess There we go, so it's like nice and subtle but it just adds a bit of something more interesting to the page. So yeah, I'm just going to like keep layering things up and then see how we get on. stickers arrived from the new supplier that I wanted to try out so I've got three different designs and I've actually said to my patrons for this month's sticker because I wasn't sure which one to give them this month I was gonna give them the Raven um, but I kind of like all of them so I said to them you choose you choose your sticker for this month usually they get a mystery sticker um, but this month I just thought it'd be nice if they could choose their own they've come out really nicely they're a beautiful gloss vinyl like the last ones but I just wanted to try out um, a new supplier 
just for quantities more than anything else um, because my other supplier you just have to buy a whole new set of stickers per design so I wanted to try out these ones and I'm actually really happy with them so here's where I got to with the art journal spread I'm just going to straighten up this little feather I'm really happy with it actually I'm going to get it scanned in and then I'll order some little postcards of it but I really like the colours how it just all of the little things in the background I really like how it's turned out bought my mixed media stuff as well my mum actually went through um, a lot of her old art supplies and she gave me all of these this is a pretty much full pot of mod podge so i will make good use out of that there's um these little pads of paper with all different textures and patterns in which are cute for like ripping up and bits of ephemera and things these are really cool. I've never used flakes before, but we'll see how we get with those. Some teeny tiny little wooden slices. Some little canvases so I can see how I can get on with putting mixed media onto canvas. And then just loads of scrap bits of ephemera, really. And now to end the, thank you for that, end the vlog on. I thought I'd just do some relaxing drawing with you. I'm trying to be quiet because the boys are asleep. So this is one I've been working on, but it needs a lot more sort of filling out. So I thought I would add something to this, which was a frame, um, sort of foliage decor type thing. And the thing that was in the middle was my Hugo mug, and I didn't actually like it. So I'm going to go and do, so I'm hoping to put this little honeybee inside the frame. Um, and then I was envisioning just a really cute little greeting card, but the mug, I kind of just chucked in there to see how it looks. I really didn't like it, so I thought I'd do a little bee um, and see how that looks. If it doesn't look okay, then it would make a really cute sticker. 